and somebody actually said, you know, it was really nice to see George um, actually there learning from the other people. Like, I remember that specifically was one of the tweets. And I was like, I, I took great pride in that too, right? Because like, I always talk about how I'm a learner. But yes. then for me just to show up, not listen to anybody and then walk away after I'm done talking oh, yeah. isn't really embodying what I'm, I'm saying. Sure. Well, I think what we noticed too, George, I hope you don't mind me uh, sharing this, but I think one of the things that really struck our team is we were waiting to kind of get into that big kind of hall, you know, that, that big yeah. convention kind of space for the, for the presentation was you were actually outside the door, you know, 15 minutes ahead of time greeting greeting those that are waiting to hear from you, right? Like greeting those that are waiting to be filled up. And I mean, just you being in their space, being at their level, and actually you held the door. So you like were walking on stage when all of us were seated. So again, I think that I've really tried to model that too, is when folks are coming to any professional learning or uh, how do, gosh, how we start, right? How do we show up, right? How do we ensure that they know like, it is, I am here for you, right? I'm here to learn from you as well. And I feed off of your energy and your questions. And I think that's what we felt from you and saw modeled by you on that on that day as well. Well, that that's funny because that is something that I learned from my mom and dad who own a restaurant, right? Like yeah. how, like, and you, that, I think that's probably why I really connected to that word because yes. my parents literally, that was their, the way that they saw it was to, was to serve, right? Sure. Like, and if you think about it in a restaurant, that's probably yeah. the best word. and. Um, but people just had such a respect for them, such an admiration for them. And, uh, what they said was like really held close to people because of how they served and how they made people feel. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually could tell you straight up that I learned much more, um, from my mom and dad running a restaurant on how to lead in a school than I did in, in some educational, you know, sure. master's programs too, right. Just to yeah. see how they interacted with people. And that, that made a, a huge difference to me. Uh, I, I do want to ask you, and when you talk about this uh, terminology of being like, because I know vulnerable is a big um, aspect of when you talk about leadership and you talk about, you know, the, the need for courage. What do those things mean to you? And like, how, do, how is that actually beneficial to leadership? Yeah. So I, I think one of um, some of my greatest pieces of learning and probably greatest um, kind of things that I admire most about leaders I, I'm, I'm really watching and, and observing in this time in education. So vulnerable to me means leaders that are willing to stand up and say, look, you know, we're trying to reimagine public education. We're trying to provide opportunities for a voice and choice for students outside of a just a number grade or a standardized test score. And as leaders, we may not have all the answers on how to get there, but we are vulnerable enough to stand up. I would say vulnerable and courageous enough to stand up alongside the team that we have gathered to say, we believe in this. I'm not exactly sure how to get there, but man, let's start, let's start taking the steps forward. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, another word that really can, for me, I connect with vulnerability is this, this idea of humility. Um, humility is a really important character trait to me personally as a leader. And it really goes back to this idea of, of, of being a servant or really, really serving this idea that vulnerable leaders are willing to surround them, surround themselves with folks that are way more talented to them, that, uh, they're willing to not be the smartest person in the room, but they're willing to say like, man, let's come together. Let's collaborate on a shared vision and shared beliefs that we all have voice in and let's all add to ideas on how we're going to get there. Right. Um, and so really this idea of, I think there's a misnomer in leadership, George, honestly, that leaders have all the knowledge and all the skills already that we just possess these things. Right. And then, gosh, what's the point of the team then? Right. Mm -hmm. and so when I speak of vulnerability and, and I think of about where we're heading in public education and what are the possibilities of where we can head, Gosh, I just think about these courageous leaders who are standing up and saying, look, I don't have all the answers, but I need you on right. my team. We can shape this together.